Hi, in this video we are gonna set up naked 3D video. You mainly have seen it on uh, screens like uh, curved screens or uh, screens which do a corner, but you can also use it with flat screens or uh, screens with, with no angle. So just right in front of you. And here's a sample of this um, Razer machine. The sample that we are gonna show you here is actually very simple because I think what is important here is that you understand the technique and then there is still lots of things to explore with this technique like you could also use it in the floor for example pretending that there's like a hole so let's go with the technique uh, let's start with a cube we're just gonna create a camera I'm not gonna apply any kind of protection tax or anything just to keep this as clean as possible so we press select the cube and press C just to make it editable and then we go into the panel view and then we create our first tag a selection tag we go one two this is the actual front tag and then we go to select store selection this in different vers earlier versions of um, cinema 4d is called differently but and we put it like a name, just the front. Then, with this selected, I just gonna go and invert the selection. Sorry, my cat is already. And then we start the selection, and we put it back. All right. Okay. Now we are going to do a duplicate of this cube and we're going to call this one front and we're going to call this one back. Okay, I'm going to hide this one and then from this one I going to selection for the front which is called here and then i'm just going to hide it okay then we can see inside then we are going to add whatever would be the animation which i'm going to put also something very simple a platonic here and i'm going to create a keyframe animation very simple also i'm just going to put a zero angle here and then we go to the end of the timeline and i'm just going to put here 360 right so just to test the animation this is what at this point i'm just going to explain that this part here is what you are going to actually be creating not this top right so the final video so if you were creating something for like let's say for a building which is higher then you need to put the whole thing higher and the camera will be pointing at whatever you are creating uh, uh, just for simplicity i'm just going to do it like for an object that could be at this angle now what we do is to create a material I go to materials, create a new material and apply this material to the front on the material you go into projection and you select camera mapping and then on camera mapping and the camera you drag the camera here we go I just going to add uh, an interactive render region to see exactly what's going on this front is not showing here so we go into the back we go into the back and then on the front selection we select hide the hide this front and then on the back we put it here to default and then the front we select it is already selected and we're just going to delete it right so we can see what's on the animation we can create this pre the first uh, we can render it so let's go for the settings the settings first where are we going to save this and then i'm just going to put here on the desktop like a new folder called naked eye video and then render naked eye video Okay, then as you can imagine, here we're gonna put like a MP4 
and then for the output we put all frames I'm just gonna put here 300 to get a bit better quality and as simple as that okay then we hit render render okay just for simplicity I'm gonna delete whatever we don't need anymore which is this one and the platonic also we don't need it anymore so this front we put it now in this default and then the back of the panels also we are not gonna need them anymore so I select it and then I delete it what we need to do is this material we're just gonna change its properties for example I, we are only going to use the luminance and on the luminance we are going to use the video we just created so this render we are going to put it here this, we put no to this plane so what we need to do now is go to the with the front selected we go to tags and we create a on mat, under material bake material okay in this bake material we're gonna go through the settings the settings are we put here like mp4 or whatever output you want this is the what we're gonna create now is the final video that will you will project whatever you are going to use this method okay and then we go into width this is the width of this of the of the um, of this cube which is 200 but I'm gonna add another serial to get better quality and the height is also 200 because it's a rect uh, cube and then on in options we select luminance right luminance and then on auto UV we select cubic let's just get this on the screen and then on the details we put a start times um, one frame sorry one frame then to 90 frames which is this animation and then 30 frames per second and then on here on this material tag we drag this this material under file name we choose where do we want to bake this where do we want to place this video and I'm just gonna put it here in the same folder so in the material you in, instead of having both you put just front then we're going to bake and this is what is going to create here is is will be this is one video for the left side for this side of the panel and another video for the right side what we want is actually to have one video for one side and one video for the other side so it's very simple what you need to do is just to create on the tag just one tag which is also have one side and then you repeat the process for the other side if you want if this was like a curved screen then what you need to do is to do the kind of the dynamic like basically create an object with this curve and this will appear like a single like a single image i'm gonna show you now the final video which is If you are going to project this, if you are going to project this in two different screens, right? For example, in two mobile phones, or, or depending on the setup of, or maybe it could be in a column in a in a shopping mall. Then, if you need two videos, then we delete these tags, and then we go to selection mode. Then with one selected we put we go to select store selection and then we put here for example left left and then we go to this one and we create another selection and we call this right okay then we select this polygon then we we create a tag 
we delete the other tags and we create a tag just with this side, with the left side, with the left panel, right? I call it here like left, and then on the on the material I have to selection left, and then on the baking it will create only the baking for for that for that part of the of the video. So you will have to repeat the same thing for the right side. And that's, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will soon have this tutorial finished for how to create this cyberpunk style animation. It's actually like a 3D naked eye video on a spinning LED uh, wheel. If you subscribe, maybe you can uh, have a look. Uh, and see how we do it. Thank you very much. Bye.